Okay. Ooh, how modern. Okay, why this is there no light? Oh, I don't know. She does the good things. She doesn't know how lights work. <laughs> Can you do you it? Have to put the seat back. Oh, I'm no, sure I will have to put lights. the seat back. <laughs> how do you put the. Oh, there we go. Door. There we are. Can I do this? No. Okay, wait. Okay, so. What? Which one's it? So this is an accelerator. Yep. And that's a brake. Yep. And that's an accelerator. That's the accelerator. And that's the footrest on the left. That's very strange. So Amy's current mental block is that her old accelerator is now her footrest. <laughs> the best part is that, like, I hate these stupid pivot from the floor accelerators. Yep. So, like, her fake accelerator is better than her... Oh, it is soft. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, my God. I was wondering if I could put an extra spring on it, just to, like... <laughs> <laughs> Make it a bit feel. more reasonable. Alright, this is weird. Now, can I even fit? You have to slide the seat there. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's just go. There we go. Alright, now, there's a trick to turning it on, too. On the... Hold on, no, let me... I can't... Alright. On the right, below... This is the other thing that pisses me off. So, they've <laughs> installed the switch over here. Look, you the switch. The little round button switch. What is this? With the red dot? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That flips between the two, the two, um... Accelerators. Wait, so you can only use one at a time? Yep. That's so weird. This, I'm actually worried about my own safety. Hey, do you want to hold this for a second? While I figure stuff out. Alright. <coughs> Seatbelt, that's important. Okay, and by default, now... At the moment, the uh, right for the accelerators on because I drive here. Now the trick is nothing, right? No. It won't work now. It won't work? I believe so. Car's got to be off and foot on the brake, and the switch flip to left for the left foot accelerator to work. I might leave it in right foot to get out of the driveway. Yeah. So the funny <laughs> thing is, the car's got um, enough like basic acceleration that um, you can do things like reverse out of the driveway, for example, like I have a couple times, and then drive on the street, and then suddenly nothing happens. What do you mean? Oh, right. Because I don't, don't realise. Yeah, so I've been pushing the right pedal just a tiny bit, and that's, um... I this is so weird. Okay, wait up. Yep. This is supposed to be on... It is on door. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yep, I turned it on to All get right. it on the door. All right, all right, all right. How do I... Where's the reversing camera? There is none. Jesus up here. Christ. But that's useless too. Alright. Oh, my God. I, I've forgotten how to drive a car, like, without a reversing camera. I know, it's really weird. So I go back to my car, it doesn't even have beepers, and it's just like, I now want a new car. Alright, park. Park? Yep. Off. Okay, now there's that switch, flip it. Yeah, so it really bugs me, because there's spots for extra switches. On yeah, the right. They could have just used... They yeah. could have, they should have fucking used it, but they just drill <laughs> a fucking hole in the dash. Yeah, well, it's because it's, it's the same switch for every car then. It's a hole in the dash. Yeah. Alright, so... Now on? Yeah, foot in the brake. And now this is no longer the accelerator. Yes. Now, the other thing that's really f***ing annoying about this is it disables the brake when what? you push the accelerator. <laughs> what? Disables the brake? So with a normal brake accelerator, you can push both at the same time, like any other car. Yeah. Disables the, the brake? Yep. So you can only what? push one pedal... That seems insanely I've driven this for about 20 minutes, and so far, that's the behaviour I've noticed. That seems actually insane. So, because I was trying to test this, that the pedal was working while stopped. You mean it's, no, you mean it's the same as the accelerator when you put the brake on? Oh, it, it only allows one pedal on at a time. Oh, hold on, it's not, it hasn't switched. It's right hand side still. Is the light on? Yes. Or does the left only work when you go foot off the brake? Yes. It only lets one of the pedals work. Oh my god, wait, <laughs> and, right, now it doesn't work, what? Yeah. This yeah. is so weird, okay, this is, okay, this is super weird. <laughs> uh, so I recommend not using your right foot at all. Uh, but no, then I have to left foot brake. Yes. That's hard though. Oh, now it stopped working. It just stopped. Oh, yeah, you get what it stops working. Yeah, so with the oh. left foot accelerator, the new one they installed, it only allows one pedal to be active at a time. That is... Between brake and accelerator. Insane. That's stupid. Okay. But when the left foot accelerator is disabled, it goes back to normal mode, and then you can push brake or right accelerator 
at the same time or in any combo. I'm glad I've had some practice doing left foot breaking because even that was too harsh. Because I know how touchy left yeah. foot breaking is. Oh, this is so weird. This is so scary. I feel like it, when it had to come to a stop, because normally whenever I used to left foot break, oh my god, this is so weird. It doesn't. Oh my god, this is so <laughs> it's not a European car. Yeah, normally when I was left foot braking, it was like in a manual car. Because yeah. you're like, you know, you just, oh, Jesus, okay, so weird. So, you would never come to a stop because you'd stall the car if you're going to do that because yep. the clutch is on the left. Yep. Okay. So, the other thing you have to kind of learn to fight is, um, and you, you don't have, um, Actually, no, yeah, so you might be relevant for you. So the other thing you have to learn to fight is my um, safety response, if I get into an emergency, is clutch and brake. Yeah. That that's fine. But you still do that in an auto because you just hit the clutch, which is nothing. Yeah. So that's fine. It's so I think that's straight. actually the biggest reason they've done the whole cut it out. Yeah. exclusionary pedal thing. Was that, um, uh, what do you call those things? Bentley. I feel really unsettled here. Like, I don't feel in control of the vehicle properly. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't tell Amy that day. You've got the eco mode off, right? Yeah, it's, it's not, not saying eco. Yep. Yeah. So this is the, uh, is this the, the performance. Power? This is full power. Oh my God. So, so it does have a turbo and it hits. It does have a turbo. Yeah, it starts around about 3,000. And, and it's, got, it's warm, right? Yeah. Yeah. So like it's actually it's decent. Ish. It starts at three. What the turbo? Yeah. <laughs> like, you can't even tell it comes on, but it actually feels. So I do this thing where it's I a, drive. Is it, is it diesel? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, it feels rough, <laughs> but is it just a high on night? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I do this thing where I kind of drive through corners and keep my speed up, just so the turbo is always active. <laughs> and it's got manual mode. Do you? Oh, yeah. It does have manual mode? Yeah. yeah, but it's terrible. It takes like a second and a half to change. <laughs> that is very unresponsive. And ready? Up again. And, there's <laughs> <laughs> and it, um, it will override you, like like all those yeah. sorts of things. Too, but it, it's very, very precious. Very eager to override, yeah. yeah. Okay. See, the like the RS3, if you hit the limiter, it will like, shift up a gear automatically. Uh, actually, I'm not sure about that. I remember it not doing it once, but maybe it was just you got confused. Yeah, I don't think I've ever hit the limit on this. And that's a really high limit for a diesel. Like, that's nearly 5,000 RPM. Oh, maybe it's not that high. This looks like this is like five is the first I've read on it. This is very strange. And I'm really struggling to maintain speed because my left foot is not very accustomed to dictating the speed of the car. This is so weird. And you see what I mean about the, the how light the pedal is too. Yeah, it's odd. I don't know, I don't... It's not that big of a it's deal. It's got a block and you, you get used to it. It's just not very pleasurable. To drive with, like, and it makes a difference between how sensitive the brake is, even, even greater. Yeah. This is so weird. Does it doesn't have hill hold, does it? No. no. Alright, let's go. Oh, that's not bad. That's acceptable. That gets moving. Mm -hmm. Like it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not. I it's found astonishing. It's just. It's good yeah. enough. The eco mode is terrible because it will kind of jump to that after like for ages trying not to do that yeah. and it's actually kind of dangerous. <laughs> so if you never have to accelerate anywhere ever, then it's okay. But That's the thing about acceleration. It's like when you do need to get out of someone's way, you want it to happen exactly. straight away. So I, I drive with the eco mode on sometimes just to try and like save fuel. but. I actually deliberately turn it off in the rain because I could find it can be so unpredictable oh, with the amount of power it puts out that I lose traction and it's actually more dangerous. Does it, have, it does, probably doesn't have traction control. I think it should do, right? Like, well, I don't know. I know that... Oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> Mum's car doesn't. I think they think, oh, it doesn't have enough power to need traction control. But you can just, like, light up the front wheels in first and second. Don't tell Mum. <laughs> Because obviously it's the it's the 1.4 um, Golf engine, so it's got a crap of torque. Uh, how do I maneuver a car with left foot? Everything. This is so weird. Well, if you if you are truly concerned, you can flip back to right any time. The car doesn't oh, have to be off. It. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what are you learning to drive? <laughs> so weird. Like it actually feels like I'm learning to drive. 
Oh, I don't have beepers, do I? Wait, does it have beepers? Only on the back. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there's a cut. <laughs> there is a little... Oh, there is a, a reversey thingy. It's crap. Behind? No, is that behind? That's behind. That the big behind. one's behind. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, it's only for like... I need to wait for this. Yes. Yes, out of the way. Okay. Okay, am I straight-ish? You were straight-ish. Alright. And... <laughs> this guy's just like zooming in and he's like, What are you doing, idiot? Okay. That's un... He says goodbye. How, how adorable. So, light is on. Yep. But if I touch the right pedal... It's working. <laughs> what do you mean? The right pedal is currently disabled. Is it? Oh. <laughs> no. So, the, so you didn't have the f brake on when you started the car? No, because you can't start the car without the brake on. No, once you start moving, I noticed this just before, once you start moving, then... If, if you take your foot off the brake, then the left pedal works. Oh, that's so But stupid. not the right pedal. That's so bad. That's, yeah. Wait. So one of the things I was doing to try and work out whether this thing was active or not is to touch the pedals. No wonder I had so much <laughs> trouble trying to work out. Okay, this is very confusing. How far away? How far away from anything? It will beep when you're close to something. Okay, that's an interesting beep. How much will it beep? It will go solid when you're about to hit. You got space. Okay. Now, is the left pedal active? Yes. See? And the right one's... No longer yeah, active, Absolutely. Yeah. That is the... Oh, what? Very so, weird. So we opted over this one, over the um, the standard kind of left foot accelerator thing. And that's like this mechanical contraption. Oh, Japanese vehicles, not Japanese, what do you call them? Koreans? Yeah. East Asian vehicles. Actually, I don't know much about Indian vehicles, to be honest, but I'm assuming they're probably very similar. And yeah, so, sorry, very so, mechanical, yeah, the, as in just like fixed to the right. No, yeah, it's, it's like two a... paddles fixed to a rod. That, that's oh, just... for your hands? No, for the floor. Oh. So you, the left, you push the left foot pedal, connected to the rod, and the oh, rod and just does the turns and the right paddle mechanically the... pushes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The problem with that thing though is it's like a permanent installation, they bolt into it, and to use the right foot pedal, you, you have to that. un like. Oh. Lock it and take out this big bulky thing, shove it in the back. It's very odd. And I think that's kind of really annoying because I'm driving this car a lot too. So with the electronic one, you, you just flip the car. switch and <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, I'm gonna sell my car. Okay, ready? Oh, that's that's not that bad. It's not. Yeah. That's okay. It, it kicked down pretty good. Yeah. And just like got into it. I realize this has nothing to do with the fact this is left hand. No. Left foot drive, yep. but I mean I've never driven a, wait no, oh, no, I have driven an i30, but not one where I could put my foot down because the other, the owner was not that into car, who was in the car at the same time, so you know. It's actually not bad, like for yeah, a diesel, look, actually, I, for I, diesel's I, really good, isn't it? Well diesel's meant to have a lot of torque, right? Yeah, but so it seemed to keep, uh, I don't know, I didn't really bring it out obviously, but yeah. I, I think it's, I think it's actually fairly... Adequate. Adequate. At least, at least adequate. And you can kind of have fun driving it if you kind of keep it above a certain rev rate limit. Like, just don't go above four point eight. <laughs> it's it's so delayed waiting for that turbo to kick in. And really, I jumped back in my car the other day, and I was so heavy footed because of this car. You got two point four yeah. liters. Yeah. Talk all the time, basically. Yeah. And it's fairly pretty much linear. Yeah, I'm going to switch well, back to right hand so I can feel the car just in general. Yep. And that's going to be real weird. Okay. Yes, okay. And the left foot should be dead. Is it? Yes. I should, probably shouldn't have tested that as well. Oh, nearly lost your chicken. Okay, go. It's funny. Um, <laughs> Like, it feels good. Mostly because I'm expecting it to feel like nothing. And because when you're doing nothing, it doesn't do anything, basically. But when I sat full to flat to the floor I thought okay now what am I really feeling here it actually feels like about 5% throttle in my car yeah yeah exactly it's, it's there okay now I want to try okay there's no paddles obviously that would be crazy so yeah one and a half let's see what our torque's like uh, 
that's actually flat to the floor. That is flat. Oh, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. There you go. 1,600 RPM. There's... Okay, and the... Let's try third. What's third going to give us? Okay, go. Two and a half. That's the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, first, let's launch it. Let's launch it! No one behind me, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. let's go 0 to 60. Well, 20 to 60. Wait, 20? Ready? Now! 60. <laughs> okay. It's not a performance vehicle. No. <laughs> and dri Amy drives like a grandma, so it really doesn't matter to her. No, I, it's like I said. I think it's very adequate. I nearly put the wipes on again. The wipe indicators, but um, yeah. Oh, the brakes are kind of weird though, because now that I'm right foot braking, they actually don't feel touchy enough. Strangely enough. Cool. Um, real weird. Yep. Really weird. That's my summary. Um, if I do end up making this into a YouTube video, it'll be a very short one, but. Oh, that's kind of interesting to me, I think. You know, not every day you drive a left accelerator vehicle. Oh yeah, we did pretty well. A little bit of kangaroo hopping, but that's mainly for the brake. Yeah. <laughs> the accelerator was like, you're like, is, is it going to do something? Yeah, it's not that hard. Even though you're meant to put a clutch into the floor, you're used to controlling a clutch finally through shifts. Yeah. And so I think that's you're fine to kind of adjust with that. But, yeah, and yeah. I think, like I said, I think just simply the fact, the fact that I have done left foot braking before helped because I knew how touch you know yeah. every time someone left foot brakes the first time yeah. you're like Ugh! yeah and pretty much get thrown through the window and I was like okay no. calm down <laughs> oh cool thank you thank you Amy since it's your car and not actually your car thank you.